Yo, yo, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just arrived at work and uh, got the news that Impact is launching a new original series called Impact in 60. Now you're probably going to think, okay, BQ's going to get on here and, and talk about, oh, stop doing playing the old stuff and start bitching about it. But you know what? Um, I like the concept. I like the way they delivered the news because when they did Aftershock, you know, I got on here and, and on Twitter and I was saying, why do we have to watch that show? What's the why? You can't just announce a show and not give us details, you know? So when this pre press release came out, it has details. It lets us know that it's, you know, obviously based on the library, which is usually not something I'm, I'm really big on, but it's based on the library and, they're, you know, they're going to highlight certain stars, certain titles, certain factions, certain types of matches, and that makes so much more sense than just giving us random TNA matches. You know what I mean? So I like the idea. I like the concept. I don't love the name. Um, and I think it could work. You know, I think they talked in a press release about, well, cause what they did also was they said, Hey, on, I think, I don't remember. I think it's starting in June. They say, Hey, on June, on this date, we have a Mick Foley special. And then we have a Jay lethal or something along those lines. So, uh, forgive me because I was kind of <laughs> driving when I when I was reading it, which I know was not safe. But um, I can dig this concept a lot more than what they're doing with the TNA flashback every week. And I think I would have some interest in watching it. Um, but if you want this to fail impact, have Josh Matthews host it. And I'm, I'm dead fucking serious. Not that Josh, Josh is bad at what he does. But you guys who have been subscribing to me for a long time know that I keep saying everything is always Josh Matthews. There's a major Josh Matthews overload with Impact Wrestling. And if you have him on there, it's just going to feel like explosion. I, I swear to God, Impact, have a different host. You keep hiring these attractive females and they just play these little minor roles on TV. And then you have Josh or you have some old dudes on TV hosting shows. You know, if you, if you want it to fail, have Josh host it. Okay. This has to feel different. Um, Aftershock is a total bomb. And, you know, people got on this video, on this uh, channel, left me comments, got on Twitter and left me comments saying, you're being too negative. Uh, people were really mad at me about my thoughts about Aftershock. Aftershock is a bomb, okay? It's already after two episodes a bomb. Um, if you go back to the first night of AEW on TV, first night of NXT... Um, the first week of the XFL, the first final deletion, all eyes are always on episode number one. That's, that's always going to be your peak viewership unless something insane happens down the line. And right now, episode one of Aftershock, after 7,000 viewers on YouTube the first night, is at 12,000 now. After ep Episode two is at 4,000, so it already dropped 3,000 from yesterday. So Aftershock's a bomb, but... Uh, Impact in 60, I think, is actually a more creative way of delivering the TNA library. That means they have to get rid of the flashback on T on, on Impact because if you and, and I don't think there was a flashback this week, this past episode. But you have to get rid of the flashback now. If you keep having a fucking flashback, it, then it's gonna be there, there's gonna be more TNA content out there than Impact. So now if you do this, I would like to see YouTube, which I have unsubscribed from your Impact YouTube because there's, I mean, from your, <laughs> from your YouTube Impact because there's no original content on there that makes me even give a shit. Um, this is an opportunity now to experiment on there with some original content based off the, the current roster. And there's simple things that you can do. So yes, I would have liked to see them come with a more original concept um, that's you know, based off what they're doing now, like Brandy Rhodes launched AEW heels yesterday, a community from women, like that kind of stuff is pretty innovative in wrestling and, and it's, and it's new. And I've thought in the past, and I just never really talked about it was, you know, how can impact appeal to the female audience? And I never talked about it because I didn't have an answer to the question. You know, usually when I, what, what some of you like to say, I complain and bitch when I, do those things, I also have a solution. So if I don't have a solution, I just kind of don't talk about it. But I think that kind of stuff is innovative. So I would have liked to see Impact come with something more innovative, but the Impact in 60, I think, can work. And if they continue to 
um, promote what they're doing ahead of time. And what I don't want them to do is mirror what WWE and AEW are doing like they do with YouTube and the flashback where, you know, uh, Matt Hardy's in the news, so let's do a Matt Hardy match. Or, um, you know, who, who is it they did this past week? I don't remember. But that kind of shit. Don't do that. Like, give us give us something other than the Joes and the and the AJ. Like, Jay Lethal is a great star to build a show around. You know, because that's not someone they... Aside from the shit with Ric Flair, that's not someone that they post a bunch of content about. So, if they can tap into some people who we care about, but aren't the same, you know, AJs and Joes and Daniels that they're always playing, you know, this, this can work. You know, and, and I think it's going to take place before the Impact show, so... Um, I'm okay with it. Kind of dig it. So leave your thoughts in the comments. I got to get to work. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.